I've been having a hard time making videos lately, and it feels like I've entered somewhat of a creative slump. I've made so many videos over the course of the last year that every time I go to make a video now, it feels sort of like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. This makes my creative process feel dull, which then bleeds into my work and makes it boring and repetitive. I think the best thing to do in situations like this is to experiment or use plugins and effects that you don't normally use, and force yourself to get outside of your comfort zone and learn new things as well. Today I'm going to make a beat using Fruity Slicer, which is a plugin I never use. Let's get into the cookup. I opened this custom patch that I made in Omnisphere, and I'm going to lay down a chord progression in the key of E minor. I'll speed up the footage here to save time. Here's what I came up with. The progression is 1, 6, 1, 7, 5. That's E minor, C major, E minor, D major, and B minor. Here's what it sounds like. Next, I exported the pattern to a WAV file, and I loaded it up in Fruity Slicer. I need to adjust the attack so the sample doesn't click. I'll also adjust the decay to add a reverb-like effect to the keys. Next, I want to reverse certain parts of the chord progression to make it more interesting. Here's what it sounds like now. Skillshare reached out to sponsor this video. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creators with more than 25,000 classes in areas such as music production, graphic design, video editing, and more. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that fit with your interests and personal or professional goals. Whether you're looking to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving throughout 2019. I've been checking out some courses by Young Guru, a Grammy-nominated audio engineer, in order to learn how to step up the quality of my own music through a better understanding of audio physics, microphone choice, and how to set up a proper recording space to ensure the best possible quality is achieved. Skillshare is also super affordable. An annual subscription costs less than $10 per month. Join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. In the interest of transparency, Skillshare gave me a few free months of a Skillshare Premium membership, and the first 500 people who sign up via the link in the description will also receive a free two-month Premium membership as well. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now it's time to get back into the cookup. I pulled up another custom patch in Omnisphere, and I laid down this simple melody. Once again, I exported the file and loaded it up in Fruity Slicer, adjusting attack and decay times like before. I'm also going to reverse the last chord of each bar. Here's what the melody sounds like now. Once again, another custom Omnisphere patch from a sound bank I've been working on on and off for quite a while now. I laid down this melody and I exported it to a WAV file. Then I loaded it up in Fruity Slicer like the others. I reversed one part of the melody and pitched it up by 12 semitones. I did this because I'm going to apply the gross beat half speed preset in the intro section of the beat, and I want this melody to maintain its original pitch when the effect is applied. I'm going to clone the channel and keep a version of the melody with the original pitch so I can use it later on in the beat. I applied some effects. First, I added an EQ with a low cut at 669 Hz, a boost at 2.6 kHz, and a high shelf at 5.3 kHz. I added some reverb, and I applied this gross beat preset. Here's what the melody, at its original pitch, sounds like with effects added. I pulled up this flute in Omnisphere, and I started freestyling on my keyboard to come up with ideas. I 
Eventually, that messing around led to me creating this melody here. I laid down a clap. I added a snare. I made this hat pattern. I laid down an open hat. I added another open hat. I laid down a perk. I made this kick pattern. I made this 808 pattern that just follows the kick. I also panned the 808 left and right at certain points. It's a general rule of thumb that the base of the track should be kept mono, so panning the 808 probably seems like a weird or unnecessary thing to do. The panning will only affect the low mids and above though. In this case, I accomplished this by throwing a mid side EQ on the master and cutting everything on the side below 100 hertz. That just leaves the low mids and above. Everything below 100 hertz is cut on the side, which means it's essentially mono below 100 hertz. Here's what the drums sound like all together. I'm going to pull up Isotope Vinyl and the Gross Beat Half Speed preset and automate them on during the intro section of the beat. Now it's time to write some lyrics. I'm just going to lay down some random bars over this thing and see how it turns out. Let's see what we've come up with. I'll be smoking till I can't feel. Sponsor hit me with the brand deal. I remember drinking canned milk in a mobile home with my dad still. And we couldn't pay the gas bill. Shoulder colder than my last meal. Mama pop another Zan pill. Always knew that I'd be mad. Perks. And 